I think the Western attitude toward China has become more negative. As far as Hong Kong is concerned, it's been incredibly negative towards the Hong Kong government. The British media has made absolutely no distinction, virtually no distinction at all, between the big, you know, peaceful demonstration against uh, the extradition bill, which I think, you know, that was a perfectly legitimate demonstration, which was, you know, presented the feelings of many in Hong Kong, with these violent mob demonstrations and the destruction of property and the, the occupation and dislocation of the airport and so on. None of these gov Western governments would ever tolerate that kind of behaviour in their own societies. But when it comes to Hong Kong, oh yeah, you know, this is fine. <laughs> Frankly, my attitude towards um, Britain and Hong Kong is, you know, what a bunch of hypocrites they are because they're always criticizing the lack of democracy or the, what should we say, the eating away of democracy or whatever they want to call it in Hong Kong. Do you know, the British ran Hong Kong for 156 years and they never introduced in that period the slightest vestige of democracy and the Chinese were going to be responsible for Hong Kong. Then they raised the issue of democracy.